Hello everyone and welcome to what will be a little bookshelf tour. So after I posted my room tour recently, I featured these shelves and a few of you, well I did ask if anyone wanted to see a tour of these shelves and a few of you said you did. So I figured I would do it. So we're just going to get started. I'm going to go kind of shelf by shelf the same way I do my K-pop shelf tours and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so starting off at the very top of the first shelf, obviously I have some space there. There is room to grow, but how I have it organized on the right hand side at least is some of my Japanese fiction, which are some of my, well, are they some of my favorite books? I don't know. They're some of my favorite books to read. Whether or not they're my favorite books is questionable, but I do really love the style of writing that comes with Japanese fiction most of the time. So that's what I have over there. I do have a few more. What I should say actually first is that both of these shelves, well, the shelf first with all of my like novels, I guess, these have all been read. So I have a different place in my room where I keep all the books I have not read yet. And I do have a few more Japanese fiction novels there that will eventually make it to this shelf. So on top of those, I have two little figurines of Sakura from Card Captors. <laughs> that was a show that I watched when I was little and I absolutely loved it. So those were two little like surprise boxes that I got. And then over here we have a Funko Pop of Marty McFly from Back to the Future, which is my favorite movie. And this was a uh, Fan Expo Canadian exclusive, I think, and I ended up getting it. Not at Fan Expo though, I tried and I couldn't get it, so I had to buy it on eBay, but I love this Funko Pop so much. Then below it, we have another shelf here, obviously, full of books that I have already read. On the right hand side, we have some more classics and modern classics. Again, these have all been read and I love majority of these books. So I used to own a lot more books, but now I kind of not get rid of, but I say goodbye to the books that um, don't hold a special place in my heart and these ones all do. So yeah, those are some of my favorite classics and modern classics. I then have a Funko Pop of the Diamond Hot Topic exclusive Alien from Toy Story. The Alien is one of my favorite <laughs> little characters of like just anything animated, I guess, or just in general. I love the Toy Story Alien. So yeah, obviously bought that. Then over here, we have my Frederick Bachman collection. I love him. Probably one of my favorite authors of all time. I especially love, love, love the Beartown series. So that's what this stack is. You might notice I have two copies of Beartown, but one of them is an advanced reader's edition or an ARC. So I used to write a bunch of book reviews um, way back in the day and I got that arc by doing so and I absolutely loved it and I went on to continue reading the rest of the series as well as some of his other books. The only thing is um, A Man Called Ova or Uva, I think is how you pronounce it. I actually haven't read that yet. It is here on the shelf, but I have not read it, but I wanted to keep all of my Frederick Bachman books together. So that's why that's there. I do have a Marty and Doc from Back to the Future on top. Those are the Funko Dorbs collection. And then I do have a little hockey puck down here with the Beartown logo that was given to me when I did get that arc of Beartown. So if you haven't read the Beartown series and you want something that is gonna absolutely break your heart, that's it. <laughs> Then down below we have the next shelf. So on the right hand side, we have a bunch of thrillers that I keep here that I've already read, obviously. So we have a bunch of Gillian Flynn, Lisa Jewell, and then one Riley Sager at the bottom. I have read more from Riley Sager, I just don't own them physically, but I recently finished The Only One Left and it was insane, loved it, so highly recommend. And Lisa Jewell is another one of those thriller authors that I just absolutely love. And when are we gonna get something new from Gillian Flynn? Because I would love to read some more from her. A lot of people obviously discovered her with Gone Girl, but my favorite book by her is Dark Places. So highly recommend checking that out if you haven't. And then on this side, we have kind of more horror or like darker novels, I guess. We have House of Leaves, which is insane if you haven't read it yet. Um, just be prepared. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work to read that book. Um, we have some Stephen King, we have some Grady Hendrix, and then we have some other um, miscellaneous ones at the end here, but I really loved all of these books. So again, I tend to try to keep the ones that I love the most or from authors that I really enjoy. So that's what this shelf is. We have a little Kurobi tin, we have a fake plant, and we have a Jamaica keychain bottle opener that my sister got for me when she went to Jamaica. So 
that's that shelf. Then down below, we have a shelf that will probably not remain this way for a long time. It's just kind of empty for now, and I kind of use it as a double nightstand <laughs> on the other end or on the other side. I'll show you the other side of all of these bookshelves later on as well. They are kind of double-sided, but um, for now, I'm just storing my puzzles here as well as my iPad for when I'm in bed and I want to watch something. It's easier than taking my laptop all the way over. <laughs> I'm acting like it's such a chore to bring my laptop to my bed. It's not, but it's just easier to have my iPad right here. And then I have my little CD player that has uh, NCT Love Holic album on it. And then, like I said, there's some books back there, but I will show you the other side of my bookshelf later. But basically, those are just the books that I'm reading right now and so that I can have them next to my bed at night with my book light on top obviously and then down below is just my photo cards so this is where I'm keeping my photo cards currently um and yeah they kind of take up a lot of space which is unfortunate if I ever want to like grow my book collection even further these might have to go somewhere else but for now this is where they live and it's fine now we move to the top of the other shelf which is technically the manga shelf so unlike the shelf that we just looked at a lot of these books well, not a lot of them, but I don't separate the ones that I have read and haven't read. I just kind of keep them all together. So at the very top, we have some manga over here. These are ones that I consider to have like, I don't know, like deeper existential meaning. If that makes sense. I don't know. These just feel, I, I kind of sort by vibe most of the time. And these give me the same vibe for some reason, even though they are very different from one another. But then we just have a bunch of little Sailor Moon figures and things. Some of them I got from um, random surprise box things. Some of them I got from Gachapon machines when I was in Japan. And uh, I just kind of keep them here. And then I have a Luna and an Artemis stuffed toy, what are they called? Plushies, <laughs> um, that I got at Fan Expo one year. And then I also have a little Snorlax. And then there's some keychains hanging of, off of here. We have Gumby, the Toy Story alien, and then... Um, what is what is the series oh my gosh grandmaster of demonic cultivation i got this little keychain at fan expo and now i need to add a keychain because i know the same artist makes them i need to add one for heaven officials blessing so hopefully i can find one this year at some point then down here we have what i consider to be more horror or like darker themed manga um i think you can hopefully kind of get that vibe from the way that i've organized this shelf but on this end, we have Donnie Darko and Frank um, Dorbs, which I absolutely love them. And then we have Sensei's Pious Lie. That series is very dark, so just keep that in mind. We have the iconic Death Note, obviously. And then I have L and um, Ryuk up at the top there. And then we have some other things. So we have Battle Royale, which I absolutely love the book. And I watched the movie after I read the book. I know it's a cult classic and a lot of people watched it a long time ago when it came out. Um, I watched it afterwards and I, <laughs> I recommend reading the book because to me it is 10 times better than the movie. The movie was not good in my opinion and I know that's controversial, but I did not like the movie in comparison to the book at least. We have Fangs, which is like a vampire manga and I absolutely love it. And they take forever to release. So I'm kind of waiting on another volume, but it might be a while. And then we have Killing Stalking, which I will recommend to no one. <laughs> Read a description of the series with, um, with caution and check for trigger warnings be before you even think about picking up this series. And then we have another Ryuk that I got forever ago. He's a little dusty. I'm going to have to clean him up a little bit. My friend bought that for me a long time ago. And then I have this little no face and he's actually like, I don't know if you can even tell, he's a little puzzle that I had to put together, but I bought him in Japan and the instructions were in Japanese. So that was very fun for me to try to figure out how to put together, but I did it. So that is the kind of darker horror shelf, I guess. And then we move down here and while they're not exactly, I mean, it's not horror, but like they're darker again in theme, I guess. I don't know. I either love cute things or dark things and that's all I got for you. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's how I am. So in the very back, we have the entire 20th Century Boys collection, the um, Perfect Edition, I think is what those ones were called. Um, I haven't finished them all. I think I've read up to seven, volume seven, maybe. I really want to continue and finish that series this year though. And then we have the first volume of Monster by the same author, which I have not read. And then we have Goodnight, Pun Pun. Um, I love, well, I haven't finished it, but I love that first one. It's a really weird thing. And then I, or a really weird story, I guess. And then I also did get to meet the author. That edition is signed. 
So as you can see, I'll open it up here and the author um, signed it for me and he wrote my name and drew, I don't know if he drew me or if he just drew whatever, but um, yeah, so that was really fun. He came to like a comic festival in Toronto. So this is a very special volume to me. And then I have more works by the same author and then also Monotone Blue, who's by a different author, but absolutely love Monotone Blue. If you have not read that, it's a one one shot story. Highly recommend it. It's so good. And then I have two little cropies over here. Oh my gosh, my shelf is dusty. I am so sorry. I need to clean that. And then we have Alice in Borderland. I have up to volume eight. I think I've read up to volume four, but I've watched the show multiple times, all of the seasons. Love it, love it. And then we have a little mare from nightmare before christmas and then my delorean up top my dad actually um it kind of got ruined i'm so sad about it but it is a like figure that you put together yourself or like a model car my dad built it for me so i keep that there and that is this shelf and then down below we kind of have a mismatch which i want to reorganize a little bit because i feel like tohiro avengers and then <laughs> the volumes that are behind it don't go together but We'll talk about that. So in the very back, you can't really see it, but I have, yeah, perfect world. I don't know why I forgot about that, but um, you can't really see it. It's not focusing on it, but it was a really cute series. I absolutely loved it. So I just keep that back there. And then I have a bit of BL mixed with other things. Like it's just kind of all over the place and I don't love it. So I kind of want to reorganize how that all looks and whatnot. Cause some of it's like, darker horror like uh the summer that hikaru died that is a darker story which doesn't fit the vibe with these other books down here i think it's more i kept them together because they're the same height so kind of want to fix that but then we have my precious tokyo revengers collection so i have up until the omnibus of 1718 and i've read up until 1718 so i'm now watching the anime's second season and i think it goes past where i've read eventually so i'm gonna watch up until the point that i've read and then stop and then continue reading and then yeah i i want to read it first before i watch the anime so as you can see i have very clear favorite characters <laughs> i love mikey and i love mitsuya so that's who i've got on my shelves kind of everywhere i have this little tiny one that i got in a surprise box i was so happy when i pulled him i have his volume mitsuya i would say mitsuya is my favorite above mikey but i have his volume of the japanese version of the manga and then yeah i just have some little acrylic stands some um Nendoroids, and then my friend Shelly bought me this one. Where were they? In New York, maybe? Somewhere. I don't know. But, and then I have this like, um, I don't even know, album back here, and I just kind of keep memories in it. So, yeah. And that is this shelf. A little bit messy, but I think I'm going to reorganize it and we can figure that out. And then down below, I have more graphic novels. I mean, I do have a few manga down there, but man, I really need to dust these shelves. It doesn't look as bad in person. And then I see it on camera and I'm like, oh my God, it's so dusty, but I just dusted. <laughs> Anyways, we have a Freddie Mercury Funko Pop. We have another Mikey down here. And I also recently did get the um, Mitsuya version of him as of this figure, the Q Posket as well. So I will have that to add. Then behind Mikey, we have Drifting Classroom, which is a horror manga series that I haven't read yet, but I can't wait to. And then we have some graphic novel series that I really enjoy. So Saga and Deadly Class. I would say Deadly Class is my favorite graphic novel series of all time. So if you have not read it, highly recommend that you do. I have a little Pokeball mug. And then also I have this little Kogami figure. He is from um, Psycho Pass, which is kind of an obscure manga I've been told or anime even, but I love it and I love Kogami. So I bought that figure a long time ago and he just lives here now. And that is this shelf. So now, like I said, these shelves are kind of double-sided. So I'm going to go to the other side and show you what I've got going on over there. I hope the lighting is okay because now we have a light source coming up from behind. But I have the back of the top shelf that you saw with all of the Sailor Moon and manga and whatever. So we have another Snorlax on the other side as well as a little Lego Snorlax. We have another Cardcaptor Sakura figurine that I got while I was in Japan. And then we have Orange, the series. I love it with Kuropi, who's kind of facing a weird way. I need to turn him around, but there is the top of that shelf. And then below it, we have some Danme novels as well as my BL collection. So on that end, we have Danme, which are kind of Chinese BL series, I suppose, is a 
accurate definition, but as you can see, I only have a few copies of Heaven Official's Blessing, but I really want to continue. I've read volume one, I haven't read volume two, and then I bought eight because it had the um, limited edition like stuff, like that, that, I don't even know what that's called, a little fold out thing. It came with that. Anyways, so that's why I have random ones like that. I've read Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation Volume 1 and wasn't totally in love with it, but I kind of want to give this series another shot. And then I have Guardian, which I have not read yet, but I've heard is great. And then I have my <laughs> BL collection. So um, some of these are a little more risque than others. If you want some of my recommendations of my favorites, I would say Jealousy is a great one in terms of um, like mafia based storyline. I, I mean, Given is pretty classic. I feel like the series has slowed down for me personally, but I did really enjoy like the earlier volumes. Um, there's one here that's a little, uh, you can probably see it, Dick Fight Island. It is very rated R, but I think it's hilarious and so creative so i would definitely check it out but only if you're 18 or older and then i would say i mean all of these are so good i'm literally naming all of them right now i was gonna say old-fashioned cupcake is great therapy game is great i would just if you're an enjoyer of bl content i feel like these ones are all pretty good but that's just my biased opinion and then on top we have my little um yuri on ice nendoroids so very cute very cute and then below they are just like the backs of what you saw before. So not gonna go into depth, obviously, on that. And then we can move to the other shelves. This is what lives behind my Japanese fiction. And this is just kind of general fiction, not Japanese. So we have some stuff by Sally Rooney. We have some stuff by Eliza Clark, Ling Ma, uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid, Emily St. John Mandel, and Hanya Yanagihara. If you haven't read A Little Life, that's another one that I caution you to only read when you're mentally stable and to definitely check some trigger warnings because it is devastating. And then we have another little crochet fake plant as well as a little BTS Yunki doll. <laughs> so there's that. And then below that we have some various books. So on the left hand side we have some science fiction with Blake Crouch but then it's a kind of science fiction fantasy on this side. So we have some Blake Crouch, we have the A Curse So Dark and Lonely series. I don't know what the actual name of the series is. We have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. We have Ready Player One, The Martian, some of my favorite books for sure. And then we have another Toy Story Alien. No one is surprised. And then we have some of my um, young adult novels, but majority, the whole right-hand side is Sean David Hutchinson. So if you have not read any of his books, highly recommend. We Are the Ants is one of my favorite books of all time. So definitely recommend it. And then we have this random More Than This novel by Patrick Ness, which is another great novel, one of my favorites when I was younger. So definitely would recommend checking these out. And then below it, we have a little bit of romance. I don't really read a lot of romance or I don't really own a lot of it physically, I should say, but I do enjoy reading it every once in a while. So we have The Kiss Quotient, Red, White, and Royal Blue, and Time to Shine. I recently finished Time to Shine. I read that book in like two days. It was so good. I highly recommend it, especially if you're into hockey romance. This one is a gay hockey romance though, so just keep that in mind because I know a lot of hockey romances are not um, queer. So I would highly recommend checking this one out if you're looking for something of that nature. I do have this Moonlight, which was given to me at Christmas. I love it. The batteries died though, so I can't turn it on right now. I need to change the batteries. And then I have two more Funko Pops here. These are both from Beetlejuice. This is one of the more iconic moments of the movie and I absolutely love these two Funko Pops. And then we have another Kropi. Again, no one is surprised. And then down below, like I said, I have some of the books that I'm currently reading. I've actually already read Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, but I am rereading it because I recently got the sequel, but I couldn't really remember what happened in the first book. So I'm rereading it, I'm almost done. Um, and it's definitely obviously jogged my memory. And then underneath I have a book I took out from the library called The Center. I have not started reading it yet because I'm reading a different library book, which I don't know where it is right now. I usually keep it here though, <laughs> but I'm currently reading The Throne of the Fallen, which has been so good. So, so good. So yeah. And then this, this you already saw, my puzzles and my iPad. So that's the end of this shelf and then my photo cards at the bottom. 
So I did also mention that I had some books that I planned to read in a different area of my room and that is on this kind of like cart thing that I showed you guys in my room tour. So these are all books that I have not read yet that I own and want to read obviously. The one up top my mom lent to me but as you saw before I do love a good Lisa Jewell. So yeah these are all the books I want to read. They kind of circle around to the other side. There's some even on the other side that I can't really show you well. And then at the very bottom, ignore the kind of messy cord situation. But these are books that I plan to read this month. So that's what I have going on down there. That's what I have going on up here. And yeah, so that's just kind of where the rest of my books live. So over here, I have another shelf. This is next to my desk and it features some other books that I'm going to talk about real quick. I also did mention in my room tour that I have this little area over here for my A Clockwork Orange books. It is probably one of my favorite books of all time, one of my favorite movies. I know that's a questionable choice, but here we are. And I do like to collect as many copies of this book as possible. So every time I travel, I try to get it in a different language or just in a different edition that I don't already own. So that is my little Clockwork Orange section. I do also have some Funko Pops up top. And then next to that, I have my Heartstopper collection as well as some other books by Alice Oseman. And then as well as my BTS Beyond the Story book, which I haven't read yet, but I really do want to. So yes, there you have it. Those are my bookshelves. I hope you enjoyed and you got to get a little taste of the books that I love to read. And I would love to know any book recommendations that you might have for me. Or if you want any book recommendations from me, I can give that to you as well. So let's have a little discussion down in the comments below and we can go from there. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.